Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at the 2016 Subaru Outback Convenience, an entry level Outback that is very well equipped. The Outback is the second largest crossover in Subaru's lineup. We have fog lights, we have projector style headlights, powered by a 2.5 liter four cylinder boxer engine. The Outback gets phenomenal fuel economy. At the back, in as you would expect in a longer SUV like this, we do have quite a bit of storage. Now, it's got a lot of width, height, and depth. As you can see, when you fold down the seats, it's virtually flat. That gives you quite a bit of storage, over six feet in length. Pull the handle, and they fold down underneath. We've got our privacy cover, and underneath that, we do have our spare tire but the privacy cover clicks in there and there and actually covers everything from the top of the seats down, keep things out of sight, out of mind. We do have this awesome crossbar roof rail set up, only available on the Outbacks and Supers lineup. So you lift it, flip it across, and it locks into that, one, that side there. The other side has a bar, it locks, flips across and locks in right here. And then you've got tie downs to mount things to your crossbars. So you have them when you need them, you can hide them when you don't, and that way you're not reducing your fuel economy with excess drag or getting any whistling from the crossbars. In the second row, with the seats up, there's a lot of space. If there's only one or two passengers in the rear, armrest with cup holders, but you can see good headroom, Excellent legroom, very, very comfortable seat, even for taller people. Up front here, we have our power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. Despite being a base model, entry level model, we do have a power driver's seat, including lumbar support. Now, this is our charcoal or dark cloth interior. Really easy to keep clean. Currently 114,782 kilometers on it, so low kilometers for the year. Left hand side of our steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Right hand side has our cruise. These right here will cycle through this small screen up top, gives you a bunch of different pieces of information depending on what you like to look at. I personally like the digital speedometer myself. And we have paddle shifters, downshift and upshift. So if you want to select your own gears or you want to slow down, you can do that. AM, FM, CD, radio, yes. We still have a CD player up here at the top. Hit the home button. It is touch. Put it in reverse. Backup camera pops up. Does show you the top of your bumper so you have something to relate to there. Makes it easier to back up. Three stages of heated seats for both the driver and the passenger. Air conditioning, still dials, fan strength, temperature, and mode will change on that little person right there where the airflow is going. AC is it is a little warm. We have a little storage cubby here. That's also where our USB auxiliary and 12 volt outlets are. So we have drive and that's how you go to pure manual mode. We've got a device holder, two cup holders. The parking brake is electronic. So you pull up to put it on. And if I push down on it, you'll notice that it doesn't go off on the left there. My foot's on the brake and I push down, it goes off. We have Subaru's X mode, which is like 4x4 low on a pickup. And then we have Hill Start Assist for any of those cities you may be visiting where you're on inclines quite a bit at stoplights. Then up top here, we have our map lights. We've got sunglass storage. And in the center console here, we have a change tray as well as a decent amount of storage. And there is also a 12 volt outlet in there for any additional charging needs that you may have. So that's a brief overview of the 2016 Subaru Outback Convenience. 